we are 22 days into this year and i said oh hey i'm gonna be uploading yeah um that never really happened but anyway we're gonna forget about that and uh we're gonna we're gonna introduce y'all to some smash basically the only game i'm having fun playing i played smash for years and i've don't have a way of showing it on the channel and i thought i'd slowly introduce it before trying to hit it big and learn how to you know play melee and stuff and i thought the best way you can get an idea of my characters by the hype reveal because trail character reveals are just the best thing one of the best things about smash and they they are generally like some of the best times to be a smash fan is whenever just like some insane characters hyped and you just freak out oh god banjo was anyway 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 uh quick rundown of the tier list number one i love you sakurai that's just oh yeah these were the fucking best for me by the way this is very personal list i'm not saying oh yeah this character's better so it's number one no it's more like how hype were they and one more one more disclosure okay um things that led off to like you know ultimate smash 4 uh i'm not gonna include those that kind of revealed the game because then they're just in the s tier so yeah we're leaving that out anyway back to the tiers so basically we got i love you sakurai which is the best ones pretty good these were good reveals but they, that for me, they weren't like, oh yeah, they deserve God, but they're not. Eh, cool, you know, nothing bad, nothing good. Lame, these were basically, eh. Why Sakurai? Um, shh, Fire Emblem. And then Brawl, uh, we're gonna slot up all the uh, Brawls up here, because I was not around for Brawls reveal. Is there any more? Snake, I was not around for Snake reveal. All right, so let's start off this list. Uh, where do we start? Um, everyone is here. Uh, I don't feel like it's fair putting that because that's just insta S tier, but S tier. Mewtwo reveal. Okay, the only thing I ever think about is the Etika reaction whenever I see that. Yeah, Etik Etika's reaction was great. Uh, Mewtwo was actually a pretty cool reveal. I remember seeing that on my 3DS. And, like all the Smash 4, I literally saw on my 3DS. I remember being so hyped for a couple of them. Shulk. Uh, I've never played Xenoblade. He was lame. I didn't know who he was. But by the way, just remembering, personal. I'm not calling character bad. It's just how I experienced the trailer. Just want that to know. Shulk, I thought was really lame. I didn't know who he was, and he didn't look interesting from the trailer. <laughs> lame, lame. I not an animal crossing fan i cannot play those mobile games like they're come on can we just like animal crossing looks like a fun game but it just looks like a mobile game on switch like let's be clear greninja now okay i've been a big pokemon fanboy my whole life i don't think he was a god tier one but god damn it was he good banjo is s tier dude that is probably the most hype i've ever been for a character reveal in this game period King K. Rule was really good. Uh, no, he's better than your ninja. Can I put him better than your ninja? No, okay. King K. Rule is a character. Uh, I love the Donkey Kong series. And it's not like I was sitting here evidently wanting him. But King K. Rule was a fucking dope reveal. We fit. Just, just lame. Like, I was like, oh yeah, they... Oh, hey, my mom played that game on our Wii. That, that was my general reaction to her. Duck Hunt. I actually remember being super hyped for Duck Hunt. So I was young and didn't understand anything. And I saw the gun and I thought that was the character. I was super disappointed whenever it wasn't. But I, I thought it was a cool reveal. Roy. Uh, I didn't know who Fire Emblem was, but I saw a bunch of fire and I thought it was cool. I'm not kidding when I say that either. It it's sad life. How about Corin, okay, I really like Corin. She's actually my secondary, but she had the lame. She, she was the final character, and of course it was Fire Emblem. But everybody went. Oh, while we're talking about Fire Emblem, let's put you up here. I'm probably gonna end up switching my secondary to Bailey. Bait. Oh, how the fuck you say it? Probably gonna end up switching my secondary to her, but 
Uh, the final... The final... What is up with final characters being Fire Emblem characters? Like, I understand Fire Emblem characters need to be a thing. But this was, like, all third party. And then they're just like, oh, hey, Fire Emblem, fuck you. Anyone who wants to wear a Dante. Jesus Christ. Lil Mac. Ooh, God tier. Oh, oh, God. Well, the time this came out, dude, I was such a big Punch-Out fan. Or, not because of the classic one. I played that a couple times, but my idiot self couldn't beat it. Keep in mind, I was super young, by the way. But I love playing Punch-Out on the Wii, dude. I played this game so much. Lil Mac is, like, my favorite character in the game. He's just horrible, so I don't play him. But, like, if Lil Mac was good, I would be a Mac main. 100%. Rosalina and Luma. Uh, I loved Mario Galaxy, and around she actually came out, I my, I think my parents actually bought me Galaxy 2. And I didn't play Galaxy 1, sadly, but I did play 2, and I really did enjoy it. And Rosalina's just hype. Also, main in Smash Bros. So. <laughs> the hero. Uh, okay. Trailer-wise, and as a character, he was super fun. And his trailer was fucking dope. Fucking World of Light 3D, it was great, it was great. He had a really good reveal trailer. He was also in Banjo's reveal, which already made it good. Like, I'm not a personal hero fanboy, I've never played Dragon Quest game. But like, his announcement was fucking dope. As well as he was in, with Banjo, which I've already mentioned, but goddamn. Ken, ooh, ooh, fire, 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 huh? Uh, this, this defirmed the, um, what is it called? Grinch sleep. Yeah, um... Eh. <laughs> I can't decide if I want... Okay, Ken's a cool character. He's literally worse Terry, better Mew. But... Uh, he defirmed the Grinch sleep. Uh, no, he just the Grinch sleep. Insta lane. God damn <laughs> Why did you put Shadow in the game, man? Joker. Oh, I didn't see his reveal. I didn't watch the Game Awards. But when I watched it back, it's all Joker from Persona 5. I haven't played Persona 5, but he looked like the sickest character, and I've only heard good things. I, can, I think I should only be able to put him at cool, because I didn't see the reveal trailer, so. Daisy. She's kind of lame. Uh, no, that's more like a why, why Sakura. Why Daisy? We could have got, like, anybody unique or cool, but no, you literally just put fucking Orange Peach in the game. For all you Daisy fanboys, I'm sorry, but I do not like your character. Dark Spamus. Dark Spamus is cool, but just f f Spamus, yeah, it's a lame. I can't tell you how many times I've been camped out by some fucking degenerate online. Just r as soon as you don't roll backwards. Then again, they are super easy to play against, but it's so fucking annoying. Lucina, literally just better Marth. Why Sakurai? Okay, now Krom, since we're already on Fire Emblem. Krom is a... Yeah, he's like a Fire Emblem character I think we should have. He's super popular. He, he's cool and a lot of people are super hyped for Krom. I'm not a Persona fan, or not Persona. I'm not a Fire Emblem fanboy, so I really don't care. It's Center Order. Uh, okay, I thought he was a cool reveal. I like it, Center Order. I thought he was a cool character. I liked uh, Sun and Moon. I'm a Pokemon fanboy, so yeah, no shit, he was a cool reveal. Even though he did confer, he did deconfer. No, I, I, I basis. Yeah, but they are like the best in this tier, you know. As well as like Spamus. Like they're the best in this tier, but like they could deconfer Shadow Palutena. Now I like the character Palutena. I actually played Kid. Kid Icarus, and now I know how cool she is, but we're going off that time period, so, uh, well, I, not for all of them, I'm just going how I want it. She was a cool reveal, I didn't think she was lame, and in Smash 4, I even tried maining her, but she was, she was not mainable, let's say that, okay? Cloud. Oh, he was a, no, yeah, he was a cool reveal. I remember seeing Cloud Strife. Now, I've never played uh, Final Fantasy, but I've watched playthroughs of the game, and so I know who Cloud was, because when I, when I was young, I watched whatever the fuck was in my recommended, I didn't care what it was, I just kind of watched it, and that's kind of how I found a lot of Smash, so, Mega Man, oh my god, when I was young, I thought Meg this was the coolest reveal, nothing's gonna top this, like, I was like, <gasps> dude, that, that was crazy, I, I remember that, I remember that so hard. 
piranha plant. This, this was such a cool. No, no, just because he took away Gino. I actually, I was watching Alfred's stream for this, and I thought it was Gino as well as everyone else in the stream. And everyone was hyped for Gino, and it was Piranha Plant. It, this was the funniest reveal, of probably the funniest character to ever be revealed, and I loved it, dude. It, it was fucking good. Ridley, the big boy dragon. He was a cool, he was a pretty good reveal. I'm not a Ridley fanboy, never played Metroid, but... Mm, he he that was fucking cool i'm just saying having him oh that that was cool like we get all the characters all we've ever wanted is just every character you know we got pichu my boy you know we got who else did we get back we got wolf we got everyone else i can't think off the top of my head but then they just dropped ridley on us dude this is the fan base exploded it was such a good time simon Oh, we're gonna throw Richter in there with him before someone in the comment says it. This was a. I'm not a person. I like the characters just for the whips. I hate projectiles. I cannot stand projectiles, spammers. If they were just whip characters, I'd play them. But other than that, uh, the reveal was. <laughs> I, I actually cannot decide. We're just gonna go with lame. I didn't know who Castle, what Castle, of, no, no, it was a cool reveal. I didn't know who the fuck Simon was. The only reason I even remotely knew him is because all the speculation from the beginning of the game. That's the only, that's the only reason I knew the character. Uh, I had no attachments to him. I thought he was a cool addition. Better than motherfucking Marth 8.0 over here, but well, we're not gonna talk about that. Bayonetta. Okay, if we take away from the context that she completely ruined Smash 4, she was fucking sick reveal. An amazing third party that was... Nah, eh, eh, I wanted to say requested, but not really. But Bayonetta was a pretty wanted character, I would say, since apparently she won Smash Ballot, even though they're still going to put Shrek in the game. But Bayonetta was a hype character that people did generally like and want, so I I see that pretty good, boy. Terry. Uh, okay, I'll give him a cool reveal. He's a cool character, fun character. I'd honestly probably, if I could learn him, I'd probably play him. But since I don't want to learn Mr. Uh, Can't Back Air, I'm going to pass. Also, I'm not too much into a Jab Jab Power Dunk. But other than that, uh, the we all kind of saw it coming since Nintendo kind of leaked it themselves. It was like, no, it, it was, it was lame. Like, seeing all these NES characters was definitely cool. It, it was a much higher production reveal than most of these. But, nah, Terry just, mm, mm, no. I, I just had no idea who this character was and I really didn't care. I just wanted to get Banjo, which, we did get Banjo that, so pretty good. Villager. Now, I would put him S here because without Villager, we wouldn't have learned about Smash 4. He was he not the uh, character that shows Smash 4, or am I a fucking idiot? Anyway, uh, Villager. I, I when I was a young boy, okay, I thought Villager was a hype because I was young, I didn't know, but damn, bro, damn. Inkling gave us Smash Ultimate. Now. I would easily put her S tier, no, I'd put her S tier if we were going off the ultimate, but other than that, she, she was an okay trailer. Like, she has a super highly animated and good um, trailer, but other than that, man, she, just kind of boring. Pac-Man, oh my god, dude, I remember when this trailer dropped, I, like, seven-year-old me was so hyped, I think I was seven, don't, don't, don't think that in the context. But, I remember seeing that at my aunt's house, dude, on my 3DS, and I was so hyped. Like, I was beyond hyped for this character. Like, mm, I'm just gonna put Lil Mac up here, because, you know, L Lil Mac is still my favorite character to this day. Please buff the boy. But, other than that, eh, Robin. Now, okay, here's the thing, okay, when I was young... I remember watching this trailer so many times on 3DS because I thought it was so cool. But like, 
it wasn't. I was looked more at Lucina than Robin. I thought Robin was lame. But I only liked watching it for their animated trailer, and the game wasn't out, and I liked watching gameplay. Because I really wanted to play this game. But other than that, uh, Robin was super lame. Uh, I played him a little bit in Smash 4. But other than that, n nothing much. Bowser Jr. Now, this was my favorite character for the longest time on 3DS. If you look at my 3DS, where I put, like, thousands of hours on Smash, I didn't play Wii U. Um, Lil Mac, Bowser Jr. That's two most played characters. I have at least 200 plus hours with Mac online. Well, not online, just all together, you know, online, offline. But then Bowser Jr. is probably second with about 130. I wish I would have checked it for this video so I can give you proper... But Bowser Jr., I loved this character when I was young, and I still think it's a good character. I wish she was better. Why are all the, the characters I like garbage? And then Ryo, uh, kind of lame. There's no point. Here, we'll put it right beside Ken. Oh, that, that's it. Okay, that, that's my list. Um, Lil Mac, my favorite reveal to this day. Oh, uh, please, Buffu. <laughs> Everyone's here. It's not kind of fair to rank it, so we'll put it bottom. But if it was on this list, it'd be S tier. Banjo, favorite. And then Pac-Man blew my fucking eight-year-old mind. Uh, about it for the video. I'll try to upload more consistently, but it ain't gonna happen, though.